Hello and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. Today I'm doing a Fontaine only Abyss run. Yeah, since we got a new Abyss, I thought might be fun to try some challenges. I actually just uh, tried a Sumeru challenge and uh, yeah, failed miserably. Um, because there are Pyro Abyss Heralds, or Abyss Lactors, I think they're called, um, in this Abyss. And they drain HP like the Rift Hounds do. So you really need a healer in this. And yeah, Sumeru doesn't have a healer besides Dory. And my Dory isn't built. So I felt that challenge. Don't know if I'm even gonna upload the video. Maybe I do. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna try Fontaine. And Fontaine actually does have healers. So this should go way better than the Sumeru challenge. I think I'm gonna get past uh, Chamber 1 this time, at least. Past the Abyss <laughs> Lactus. That would be very nice. Okay, so which characters can I actually use here? Um, right at the bottom left we already have Chiri, who is kind of a controversial case, since she is technically an Inazuma character, born in Inazuma. Um, but, you know, I did a poll on my YouTube community page um, to ask you guys if I should be allowed to use Chiri for this, and over 70% of you said yes. And honestly, I agree. I also think that Chiri is more of a Fontaine character than an Inazuma character, since she basically cut almost all ties to Inazuma and has been living in Fontaine for ages. And uh, she also appears only in Fontaine quests and events so far. So yeah, she definitely counts as a Fontaine character in my book. Then we obviously have Navia and Clorant and Farina. And I think that's it for the five-star options. I mean, also Lumine. Um, Hydro specifically, can't use any other Lumine, just the Hydro one. Um, yeah, she's not really built, um, she still has the Deep Wood Memory set, I think it's called, um, the Dentro set, from my Dentro Lumine, because Dentro Lumine is basically the only Lumine I use. And I didn't bother changing it, because I'm gonna change her back to Dentro after this challenge anyway, I just changed her for this. But yeah, um, since she is leveled up, she should still at least not be completely useless. Um, contrary to, like, Fremine, who's level 1. And then other than Lumine and Fremine, who else do we have here still? Um, Jeffrus, and then also Lynette, and Charlotte. So yeah, like I said, we actually do have healers here, because Charlotte obviously is a pretty good healer. Karina technically can also heal, um, even though I almost never use her in a healing mode. But if we need to, we could use her as a healer. Jeffrus heals as well. And even Hydrolumine can heal with her C6. So yeah, we actually have quite a few healing options here. Thank god. Oh, and also I almost forgot to mention, Clorant heals herself. So a lot of sustain here. I don't think we are gonna die in this. But, you know, the question is how many stars can we get? Definitely not all stars. Like, this is not a 36 star run, I'm pretty sure. But we might still be able to get like two stars per chamber. That would be pretty nice. Anyway, let's build proper teams now. Like I could just go with this, which is basically my usual Navia team, um, except with Charlotte instead of Jean. And this team, at least with Jean, um, wrecks everything. Um, but I think exactly because these characters are so good, I should split them up um, on different teams. Chiuri and Navia on one team because they work really well together and then uh, Charlotte and Farina on the other team um, to buff whoever I put on that other team. And I think I'm actually gonna go with the charlotte Farina core on the second half since we really need Hydro there for the Abyss Lectors. And then to finish it off here, maybe we just go... Lumine for Hydro Resonance, which should increase Farina's damage since it scales off HP. And then I think Chlorant is our DPS. I think this could work really well. And then for the first half, I am gonna use Jeffrus as my healer, and Lynette, and Shiri Navia. Now Lynette obviously can swirl Geo and increase their damage that way, um, but if you swirl Pyro with her burst, then we get some off-field Pyro application, which means we can uh, crystallize more consistently than we could with just Jeff Roos. And also Lynette's burst buffs attack, so that would be really nice for Navi as well. So yeah, I think those are the teams that I'm gonna use for this. Let's see how it goes. Normal and charge attack damage. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty good for Clorant. Um, let's just use Burst here. Do this, and this, and this. 
and already doing pretty good damage. Okay, two of them pretty much dead. There we go. Okay, that's the first wave down. That is already so much faster than when I did the Sumeru challenge. It's like night and day. It's insane how much better this is. Yeah, okay, we are rushing through this. Oh my god, this is three-star pace even. Navi is so good. I mean, to be fair, my Navi is C2R1. Um, but even at C0, Navi is amazing. And with Chiyori, it's just so good. And we actually did it in one and a half minutes. Wow, okay, that's three-star pace. No, the second half is probably not gonna go as well because of the Abyss Lactus. They tend to be pretty difficult to defeat in the Abyss, but I'm pretty sure we can still get two stars at least. Let's do this. Ah, I used her burst too early. Damn it, I forgot to use Farina's burst first. That was a fail. Oh well, should still be fine. I hope. Yeah, so far, no problems really here. Everything is going well. Okay, we got the bursts. So, let's unleash. Wait, what? Wait, Charlotte died? Eh, how? How did that happen? What? Okay, that... I mean, I pressed Q immediately after switching her in. I don't know how they attacked her so fast that she died there. But, oh well, I guess we lose this one. Oh, I did not expect that. Guess I'll have to try again. Man, I really thought we would do this first try. Yeah, this one is still easy, same as before. We are actually slower this time on this half. Huh. I think I made some bad plays here. Okay, that was like 7 seconds slower, but it's fine. Okay, let's use Serena's burst first this time, before Charlotte burst. And now things should go a lot better. Okay, so far so good. Ah, we can't sh let Charlotte die again. There we go. Okay, get some healing. And do damage. Get Farina's pets out again. Yeah, these Lactus are so annoying. Oh my god. We are dead again. I have to use Clorant here mainly because she can heal herself. But even Clorand is struggling. Oh, they're almost dead. Come on, we can do this. Okay, one of them is down, I think. Yeah. Perfect. Just have to keep Farina's summons out on the field to slowly deplete the shields. Okay, good, good, perfect. Still don't have Charlotte's burst. Charlotte needs a lot more energy recharge. My Charlotte definitely doesn't have enough. Come on. Ok, 
Okay, finally got shot up burst. Let's go. And immediately get some energy back for her. There we go. And now we defeat this last guy and yeah. Okay, two stars. It was a little bit harder than I expected actually. Uh, mainly because my Charlotte severely lacks an energy recharge. Um, but yeah, other than that, it wasn't too bad. And I think uh, Chamber 1 is actually the hardest one in this abyss. At least I hope so. But the other chambers didn't look that bad, comparatively. I mean, nothing is as bad as Lectors and Heralds. They are just so annoying. Okay, now we got Magu Kenki. I wish Lynette had her burst here. Oh well. Still doing decent damage. Even without that little bit of extra attack that Lynette gives. Okay, second phase now. Ah, took a big hit there. Ah, he jumped away. I hate it when he does that. And this is pretty much it. Oh, now we almost died at the end. Um, but yeah, we did it, I think, in under a minute. I didn't look at the timer at the end, but I'm pretty sure it was less than a minute. Yeah, we still have over nine minutes here. That's perfect. I know it would be better to kill them at the same time, but honestly, I don't care right now since this is not a three-star run. Wow, okay. Um, they just two-shot Clorant. Um, yeah. That, wow. Wow. Again, like in Chamber 1, I did not expect that we don't, would need more than one try here. But, well. Okay, <laughs> here we go again. Come on, stand up. Faster. Okay, phase 2 this time I'm gonna tank it with Jeffu's burst. Perfect. Oh, where did he go? There. Oh, Navia died? What? How? Come on. Okay, I have to pay a bit more attention. I can't just face tank everything like I usually do. Because Jeffu's is not that great of a healer. Navia died again? Man, crystallized shields are really not worth anything. How did it do it first try without dying? And now I die all the time. This time, it's going way better. Navi is still at full HP. Let's get some healing going, just in case, anyway. Ah, he dodged that. Damn it. And now Navi actually took a big hit. Oh well, still did it in pretty good time. And now let's try not to let Corrent die again. Two guys are dead. Now we have two robots. Yeah, we're actually doing pretty good damage. Oh, Rift Hounds now. Okay. But we do have Charlotte Burst now, so that's perfect. So we can f set up a full rotation here. Yeah, this is actually going pretty well. I hope I'm not chinxing it by saying that. Just have to make sure that Charlotte gets enough energy and then this team actually works really well. Almost done with this one. Ouch. That's what we don't want to happen. Charlotte to almost die. But we can use her burst now to heal back up. 
Perfect. And now, this should do the trick. Oh, uh, maybe not quite. Yeah. And we just lost the third star. But we are definitely on very good two star pace. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, that was a pretty easy two star. Well, except for the few times that Navia died and the one time that Chlorant died. But you know, other than that, I've had harder Abyss runs. Elemental burst damage. Um, yeah, that's actually not bad. This thing, we don't have any Dendro Electro here, so this could actually be kind of bad. Yeah, and this is the problem now, because here we would need Electro to hit these things uh, to deactivate the invisibility, but we can't do that right now. We can still hit it here, but it has a lot of resistances, I think. So yeah, this is definitely not gonna be three stars on this side, but, you know, we just have to survive and get two stars. And I think that's it. Yeah, okay, there we go. What was that, two minutes? I think? So actually not that bad, considering that we did not have any Electro characters or Dentro characters for this boss. Oh, these beasts, right. Okay, they are kind of dangerous. I gotta be careful here. Ah, Lumine died. Whatever, I don't care. She's the least important part of this team. I'm gonna continue, yeah. Okay, we got the bursts. Oh, I have to... No! Oh no, <laughs> Farina died. I was waiting to use the bursts until Farina's skill resets. I just should have used the burst. It is what it is. Let's just try it again. Okay, this time we wait until it is fully here. And now we use the skills. Let's do this. And this. And this. Okay, almost half its HP gone already. Perfect. What we like to see. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, first half is no problem. Second half, though, it's a different story. Okay, first wave done. Now the second wave. We almost got Charlotte's burst. Perfect. What? What? It's just basically one shot Chlorand. Oh, come on. Oh, well, guess I'll have to try again. Can we do it in one half minutes this time? I think this is actually possible. Or maybe not. Ah, oh, so close. We almost did it. Come on. Just die. Okay, that was actually one and a half minutes. Exactly one and a half minutes. Yeah, this is not doing any damage. Let's just go to Clorin. Yeah, I should have done that in the first place. Rand is almost dead, and now she isn't. <laughs> oh, I love characters that can heal themselves. Oh my god, I can't even talk anymore. But yeah, I still gotta be careful, because this beast does so much damage. What is it doing? What is it doing? What is it doing? It's missing. That's what it's doing. Okay. Let's get some energy. Okay, there we go. 
I am so afraid of this thing after it killed Karen several times already. Ow. Okay, okay, I got the burst, I got the burst. Got this. Please die, please die, please die. That's not even the last wave, is it? Oh yeah, there's another one of these consecrated beasts. Ah, oh, Lumine died. Well, better Lumine than literally anyone else on this team. I hate these scorpions. No, 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 not Clorent, not Clorent. We really need Clorent. Maybe I should do this. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, no, wait, she has Bond of Life. There's no point trying to heal here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we are so dead. Get your burst. Yes, okay, we got the burst, we got the burst, we got the burst. And unleash. Ah, oh, she's doing no damage to this thing because it has electro resistance. And this stupid crab is still alive. Why are you still alive? <laughs> Ow. Breeze and now unleash. Oh, we did a lot of damage to the, gra uh, the, the scorpion here. And that's it. Okay. Was it the two stars? Yes, it was. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, six stars. I mean, for a challenge one where I was only allowed to use characters from one region, that's actually not bad. That's definitely my best result of any of these challenge runs so far. I'm pretty sure I didn't get any stars on like uh, Monster, Liwe and Inazuma. Or maybe like one star per chamber. But two stars? Yeah, Fontaine is overpowered. Now I just have to go through it again with actual teams and uh, get the third star on every chamber. But that should be easy. If I can get two stars with... um scuff teams like that, then I can definitely get these stars easily with my usual teams. So yeah, I think this abyss is kind of medium difficulty, comparatively speaking. Not the easiest abyss by any means, but also far from being the hardest, I feel like. But yeah, that was actually pretty fun. Um, I really enjoyed this, and I hope you did too. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, have a nice day.